Yo, what is good? Well, it's a very pretty, but what is good? <sighs> it's kind of hard to watch the show without our spider. Literally, the title of the show. <laughs> and she's gone and out for the count. Nowhere to be found. So, it's kind of weird to see the show not even mention her or like really give us any information about where she could be especially getting hit by something that could actually obliterate her entirety like her soul and everything so she won't even be able to reincarnate type of deal so not only is she gone uh, our hero is getting absolutely destroyed when it comes down to just standing and fighting against Anybody who isn't Hugo, <laughs> right? like I thought Hugo was going to have a decent fight. No, no, <laughs> no, not at all. Unfortunately, man, they got absolutely bodied and then they pretty much just walked around him, right? Like he's on the ground, but he's not capable of doing anything, seeing how he begs for help, the same help that... He didn't even want in the first place. All of a sudden, he wanted it. So I thought that was a good little showcase of how trash of a character he truly is. Not only was he trash at the beginning, it looks like towards the end here, he is just as trash. Um, the one character that surprised me the most and had me the most interested was actually the friend of our main hero. Who shows up and he didn't even think he was going to be recognizable to, you know, the people of the past or like the reincarnated people just because of how different he looked compared. But for some reason, everybody who was reincarnated, reincarnated for a reason as what they are supposedly. And if there is a reason for why he is the way he is, I am super curious because just from the tiny bits of flashbacks we saw. He seemed like that one quiet, relaxed person that doesn't want to get into a trouble. Like, like Stark from Bleach or Shikamaru from Naruto. Just, you know, those type of attitudes where if they could have been lazy and chilled back, they would do so. But if they're forced into something that needs to be done, they try to get it done uh, nonetheless. So, it's pretty funny to see... That type of character <clears throat> becomes such a powerhouse demon, uh, not to mention, you know, in a position to give the hero the information he should have probably been paying attention to, seeing how the elves are supposedly the bad people throughout this whole entire thing, and they're threatening the world, which makes a lot of sense, seeing how they just dropped machine mecha tanks and stuff. <laughs> I hate mech, I hate mech animes, but seeing them in CGI, and then to say that they're, like, broken compared to the people's, like, skills and stuff, it's definitely annoying, but I'm guessing they're gonna find a way to either beat them or just to, uh, wait and see if there's other help going to show up, like the girl in the white, and if the girl in the white shows up, we know the hero is going to absolutely flip. But they're about to teleport him, so he might not actually see her. So there's that. But overall, I hope you all have an amazing day, night, evening. Check out the other reviews. Ragnarok, um, Shaman King, all the reviews are appreciated. Thank you all so much. And the likes, thank you. Thank you, thank you. So with that being said, though, take care. And peace.